Peace, family. What's good? It's your man, Ocean. Oh, I'm in network. Thank you for tuning in to our latest episode, seeing what we got on tap today. Uh, like, subscribe, share my videos as soon as you come in the room. I very much would appreciate that. Help your boy break the algorithm. Help me get up in there one time. And I just noticed that it's a full moon out this morning on my way, on my, on my morning drive. But that ain't what that's about. This, this is about this father-son duo that's on the screen right here. This is John Morant and his dad, T. Morant. And John been having a, a bit of a rough patch, a rough stretch lately in his career. He's been, I, I would call it acting out because we all know that John wasn't raised in a, to be this, this gangster figure that he's, I ain't gonna say he portraying, but it's definitely having an influence. Gangster lifestyle is definitely having an influence on John Morant right now. And, and he's making some bad decisions and it's kind of catching up with him right now, but he's a young man. And this is definitely a period that we all go through. Maybe not to, to the point that Jai is, well, you know, you get caught waving guns on your IG live and you know really just trying to show that you about that life or something like to that nature but we all go through a tested patch from when it come from growing to from a, a, a young boy to a, to, a, to a grown man and I've been noticing that people people always want to try to Put the blame on something, and, and then when the, when it's a black father involved, see the black the black man the black father got it bad either way. Cause if you're not involved, then you you get fucked up for not being involved in your son life. But if you are highly involved in your life in your son life, and your son happen to be a successful person in life, a basketball player making hundreds of millions of dollars, now. The knock on you is you want the spotlight for yourself because they see this man at the game. He celebrate when his son make a shot. He celebrate when the team winning and he got a drink in his hand and all of that stuff. But I'm like, I'm trying to figure out is the rest of the motherfuckers at the basketball game? Are they drinking? If is the rest of the Memphis Grizzlies fans are they celebrating when John Morant slam dunk on somebody? Or are they just sitting there on their fucking hands, looking at the game, being some little sweet ass angels? I don't understand how, you know, the, the decision making. They saying, people telling me that, oh, he not being no father. He not getting in Jai ill. He just being a yes man to Jai. And he just going, he just another yes man. And anything that Jai says, that's what the father is with. And I'm like, how the fuck do you know? that this brother is not telling his son, just like T.I. said, just like T.I. son. T.I. son been, was getting in trouble and shit, and motherfuckers be like, oh, T.I. telling this, T.I. telling that. T.I. said, I told a nigga. I told a nigga the path that you on, son, you, um, you gonna end up in dead, in jail or in hell, dead or in jail. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I, what I do know about a black father, the ones that I've been around, because it's plenty of black fathers that I know that, that's my age, that's fathers to their to they kids. What I do know about a black father is you, he not afraid to tell his son anything that he need to hear. And he not going to hesitate. He not going to hesitate to tell his son shit that he need to hear. Now, a hard-headed young man, 200 million make your head hard as fuck. So you probably feel... Like, nobody can't really tell you nothing, and it might take a minute for some of these messages to kick in and to sink in what, what, what need to be getting to you. But if you're a $200 million man, you basically feeling like you can't do no wrong. You, you done got to the point where you really smelling yourself, and whoever it is, dad and mama, nobody can't just say, say just sit your ass down no more. They used to say, just sit your ass down, and just sit his ass down, but now... Uh, Jada the bread one of the family. So like Jalen Rose said, you go from being a part of the crew to being the leader of the crew. It don't matter who. 
It don't matter who you rolling with. Once you go to being a $200 million man, you go from being just another average Joe to the, to the problem solver, to everything got to go through you. So if you got the final decision on everything and everybody got to run shit by you anyway, you get, you that, that also include the, the decisions that you make in your life. And John Morant is at a point where he got to decide for himself that he would like to be a better man and he would not want to fumble this opportunity that he got to produce this generation of wealth for his family. I don't think that we it's very fair to team around his father for people to place all of that blame on him when apparently he been a stand-up father to this point and he been helped Jai put in all the work to get to this point where Jai is at right now. So people not really using they common sense on this one right here and it's the Serena Williams. I mean, what's their daddy name? It's the, the 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 Williams daddy effect. It's the LeVar Ball effect. So, anytime a black man is is active in his children's life and he displays confidence, see that's the problem. They don't want they a black man that displays confidence and knows his work is a threat to who everybody. I suppose that that, that shit make. Slave-minded niggas is it, it make them tense up a little bit. Cause you why why are you so supremely confident in yourself or why are you so supremely confident in your son? But it's the it's a proud dad. He just think if it were my son, I'd be a proud dad too. And I'm not gonna suppress my proudness in order to make you feel comfortable when I'm around. No, I'm proud of my fucking son. I'ma sit on this front row, I'ma drink my drink when he hit a layup or a dunk or a three-pointer, I'm going to stand the fuck up and I'm going to tell y'all, nigga, look, yeah, my son John Morant did that. So I, I, I where well, everybody else want to come at T. Morant, I ain't going to say everybody, but, why, well, no more people want to come at T. Morant for showing emotion and saying, hey, I'm proud of my son and, and you know, look what I raised. I'm going to commend this brother. I'm going to commend this brother, T. Morant, for, for, doing his thing, raising a great young man. And I know, I gotta, I feel like all of the lessons that, all of the le- le- life lessons that he done instilled in Jai will kick in eventually, sooner than later. It's just on Jai to let the shit kick in. And I think Jai taking taking some correct steps. He go, he inhaled and, and, and rolled himself in rehab, trying to get his shit together. So, give the young man a chance to grow. Stop hating on the daddy cause you ain't in the daddy position. Hey man, stop hating on that's 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 what I came up with. Stop hating on T Morant cause you not in T Morant position cause you wish your son could shoot three pointers and slam dunk like John Morant. So you you feeling like whatever kind of bitter feelings you got cause that ain't your son, man. Anyway, you see how I feel about the situation. I don't want to live in a world where people only agree with me. So you definitely are welcome to feel differently. I only thing I would say, if you come in here and express your different feelings, be respectful and I will be respectful with my comments back to you. Anyway, it's your boy Ocean, OMN Network. Like, subscribe, share my videos like I asked previously. That would definitely help your boy get up in the algorithm, help me break it all. And I'm out. Come back again, we'll do this again. I'm out.